Boys, today we have LOL VTech. <laughs> I love this for so many reasons. So this is a ridiculous Civic. Uh, he's just, the guy is having so much fun with this car. So he fully is aware of what he's doing here. So just want to make that abundantly clear. What he said too, he's like, he got the shittiest VTech engine. So when he <laughs> full throttles it, he's like, there might be VTech there. <laughs> he's got he's got the uh, LOL, LOL VTech is actually his license plate too. Man, this this thing is great. He's wrapped some of the sides. Um, he's trying to have he's just doing some ridiculous things across the board to it. So you'll see as we get into this. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one for me. So. Um, this is one of those cars that literally if it just rolled in and I had not met the person, I'd be like, oh, what the fuck, really? And then, <laughs> but when you talk to the guy behind it, <laughs> uh, I always want to just bring him on and just have him, like, just tell him, oh, man, he had so many little stories about it. It's so funny. All right, so we got some work to do today. Don't slip on the oil it leaves behind. <laughs> Funny enough, we have plastic on the floor uh, because it does drip a little bit of oil. <laughs> be slow. I know there's gonna be there was gonna be somebody in here that yells VTech. And I I like I was gonna mention that and then next thing I know, he's pointing out the license plate and it says LOL VTech. <laughs> Good stuff. So we're gonna be doing limo, of course, because why wouldn't you? Uh, we're gonna do limo on all the sides in the back. So there's a few things when you get into cars like this, they're, they're not, this one's not overly difficult, but there are you know, just some older car things to look out for. So we're gonna go over those today. Nothing crazy, but you know, it just comes with the territory. That mostly has to do with like prep work. What coffee do you drink? I drink Starbucks Pike right now. I've, well, I have for, a, for quite a while. Something that's stronger, and then I, I like grind the beans and do a French press. It sounds fancy, but it's not. It's just real simple and quick. It just makes a stronger coffee. And then I put, uh, I put mocha creamer in it right now. That stuff's good. How y'all doing? Good? Good, good. All right. I didn't know car. I, what's his name? I didn't know show. I bet in Toledo. <laughs> I doubt it was that far. I have about six coffees a day. Dang! What do you drink? I only have about. I have a little bit more. So I have this. This is like like eighteen to twenty ounces, pretty much. Uh, and then, um, the. What else do I have? Um, usually coffee at least once or twice when I go home. Hold on one second. Hello, Tim Studio, how can I help you? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, let me check the schedule here. I think tomorrow, we had an opening, but I think it got booked up. Um, booking calendar. Yeah, just give me two seconds and I'll let you know. Thursday. Oh, maybe that was next week. Today, Thursday. Oh, wow, how about that? I actually have an opening if you want to bring it in tomorrow afternoon. Uh, one o'clock? Okay, cool. We're just doing, uh, refresh my memory, we're doing all the side windows in the back. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll mark it down. Um, and the last thing that I need is a deposit on the spot. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to text you a link to our website where you can set it for, uh, the, the uh, appointment time for tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Sound good? Okay, cool. Any more questions? All righty, cool. I will send that right over, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Neat. Whoa. Sorry, guys, but business is business. Yeah, that one. So it looks like we booked. I didn't realize we didn't have an afternoon t appointment tomorrow. We have one in the morning, um, but now we have one in the afternoon to deposit. So let me copy this over. Deposit link for Kia. Kia uh, Optima at, at 1 p.m. tomorrow, 6, 3. Sweet. So hopefully we get that. Don't laugh, just remember what price, gas prices are. Think about the miles per gallon. <laughs> That's true. Think about what the miles per gallon he's getting. Absolutely. He's having fun with this car. So I said that right at the beginning. Um, you guys are going to like this one. This will be fun. So let's throw on the headset and let's get going. No dillies. No dilly dallies. <laughs> so many people saying nice car. All right, so we need to do just a brief tour. Um, so we've got the rainbow spokes here, uh, just a plethora of silly accessories and stickers, and then the, the peak for me has to be this license plate too. He just fully has embraced the VTEC. <laughs> so we have to open these anyways, but Oh man, it was really funny too because he's like, I didn't, I didn't think you were actually gonna stream this one. Aw, oh, shit! I should have at least tried to clean it up. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Um, so I hung up his keys because that is something I try and do now, so I don't lose anything. At least I know why you didn't answer my call right now. Oh, that's Burns. Hey man, yeah, I literally just clicked live. I gotta talk to you about the stuff. So it's for a good reason that I didn't pick up. Um, give me a minute. Okay, this guy. So, a few things to go over on a car like this is mostly cleanliness. The quarters are pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, these doors, not too bad either, just kind of long. And they're, I wouldn't exactly call them old school, but for some of you guys, leans more towards a little old school now. And then this back glass. So, man, this is like, this is definitely the stuff that I used to have when I first started tinning. Actually, a lot. So we got a third brake light in the way. Um, there's adhesive up there from an old dealer thingy, uh, old dealer sticker, not uncommon. And panel shouldn't be too tight, but this backlash definitely kind of slopes out a little bit farther. A little bit more curved, a little bit taller. It's a coupe too, so. So sometimes they'll make these a little bit different. Super chat. Oh, is the speakers not working? Come on. Little sticker right there. 
Aw, I guess not. It probably logged me out or something weird. I haven't checked it this morning. I didn't think I'd need to. I thought once it, once it was good, it was good. Of course it's not. Canon. Daniel Reyna, what's up? Must have master salutations. Unfortunately, I'm watching you from the hospital. Bummer. Hope to recover. Oh, my God. What happened? Shit, man. That's no good. Let me know. Ooh, we got a booking. Okay, so it looks like we have an appointment for tomorrow. Damn, dude. I hope it's nothing serious. Shit. Okay. Source. Let me check this out in the meantime. There we go. Probably locked me out. You guys like this keyboard? This is for my little mini stick PC here. Okay, hopefully. Yeah, okay, we're getting sound, so hopefully that'll work. Been looking for the plastic that you put on the door for a while. Can you please tell me where you get it? Yeah, absolutely. Carpet shield. Carpet shield. Yeah, there you go. I put a link in chat for you. Oh, fuck. You didn't have to super chat it, but fuck. Thank you for the five. Super enlarged prostate and found out I have type 2 diabetes. Oh, damn, dude. I hope you recover soon, man. That is, it is definitely a bummer. Fuck. Oh, you've been a long time supporter of the stream. You just started your classes too. Yeah, get well soon, man. No good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> it's it's a super super common question on this channel. Watch your profanity. All right. Look, there's going to be some shop talk here. The interesting thing, though, is I have a, I have a son now, and I, my wife talked to me about it the other day. She's like, he's going to grow up. I was like, ah, you're right. He is. It's something that's just gonna happen from time to time. That's just how it goes. Oh yeah, the other thing about these. So, tabs, defroster tabs. They don't really make, they don't really do tabs like they used to. They actually put them on the sides where for the longest time, I don't know why, so many cars do this weird little thing where they have like, the glass will come down, the dot matrix and then the, the Defrosters will be almost like completely separate from that and they'll stick it into the glass. So you're always cutting around little tabs. Luckily they still have a border around them so it wasn't anything too crazy, but if you forgot to cut them out ahead of time, just one of those super annoying little things. Any advice on hydrophobic coatings? Not really. Um, I don't, it's not a space that I know too much about. I would say watch Chicago Auto Pro's channel. They knew, a, they just released like a huge comparison on hydrophobic coatings. Um, most of the time, most of the time, the uh, oh, 
interesting. Uh, most of the time, the, the stuff for glass isn't isn't going to last quite like the stuff for the paint is going to work. Unfortunately, it's just part of it. Um, like there was glass parency, uh, GeoShield has one, um, and there's been a few others. So the few issues that I know of is they'll generally last up to six to eight months, maybe at the most, but you usually have to do like a refresher or something. Glass parency was, didn't last very long, but they, they give you like a refresher kit and stuff and they weren't as expensive. Kind of more of like a DIY type of thing. Uh, the, like shops could do it and then they could give their customers stuff to take home with them. But as far as which one to go with, I'm not sure <laughs> why the plastic sheet on the floor for this one. It drips oil. <laughs> that was another funny thing about this one. Was he was like, hey man, I'm sorry, it drips oil. I don't want it to get on your floor. I do have a big plastic sheet if you want me to set it up. And I was like, yeah, sure. Good deal. I. I Greatly appreciate that because we just cleaned out all underneath it in the middle and stuff. So, yeah, it doesn't need to be quite this big, but yeah, can't find glass aid cut strips. No, I know it. I'm sorry. I've been trying for the past three months to get more in, and in the meantime, everybody's stock has just diminished. So I was out of it within like two weeks. I had. I had a big stock of it, and then everybody just went, just ate it up. Dang it. We had a little water there. It doesn't like water. Um, <laughs> you know, one thing I did wonder was the, uh, was the way this is going to work on these stickers right here. So I don't want to leave them on for all too long. Oh, there's water that caught in between there a little bit. It's nice he has his priority straight. Oh, I've... <laughs> I'll probably have to repeat this a few times. He is he is fully aware what he's doing here. He has completely embraced all the VTech memes and stuff. Oh, uh regarding the GeoShield question, yeah, they'll uh they'll sell to you, no problems. They they appreciate the grass grassroots people very much. They know you gotta start from somewhere. So, super cool dudes, uh, and very quick to respond. Um, so you can check them out, GeoShield USA. We also have the film on mytintstuff.com. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit them up about it. They'll hook you up. Hello. Uh-oh, hang on. One second. I think I got to walk in. Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, one second. Oh, uh, for what time did they tell you? They told me y'all, you were sitting up at that time to pay the deposit. Did you talk to Nick? Yep, I paid a $40 deposit. Um, I just booked up tomorrow.
Uh, of course, that's how that goes. Book a spot for tomorrow. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I got a I got a guy that has another car that suppose that was coming up to do a deposit that I had no idea he was gonna come up here to do a deposit for. I'm gonna try and sneak him in for tomorrow though. If I have to do later tomorrow, then I have to do later for tomorrow. Oh, I got the windshield in the morning. I got that in the ah. Oh, this gets tricky. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is always fun. So I try and schedule things with a little bit more time in between them, and then when I get a situation like this, because I don't have anything available till next week then. So I feel bad, because he came all the way here to leave a deposit, and then he left. he's leaving a deposit literally 20 minutes after somebody booked the spot. How much does tent run for in Detroit? Uh, it depends. Depends on where you go to. It'll be all over the place. Do you have an ETA for Glass Aid? I'm hoping uh, it should be, they said early June, so it should be soon. I, I should shoot them an email and see how that's going. Okay, one second, let me go, I'll be right back. I'll be right out. Just a sec. Here, you guys can talk to yourselves. I forget this is a thing. Thank you, Dean. Been in the business for 45 years. Still enjoy very much tinting. All y'all be positive. Just keep trying your best, you newbies. Ha 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 ha. Luayuaki, I am your Fayadir. Just booked my appointment for next Wednesday. Will you stream my truck getting tinted? Sign of the horns, sign of the horns, sign of the horns. Matt probably having flashbacks from when he was working with terrible shops over booking him. Yo dog, easy money. Destiny got destroyed in this debate. This is open for abuse 777. 7777 Sup Pow 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 tisk 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 pow pow tisk tisk pow tisk pow tisk What you got going on today When I contact GeoShield do I mention your name Honda POWA Oh yes, oh yes. This sounds just like that Family Guy episode. That car is special. What's shaken? Oh zero oh zero oh zero oh zero oh zero oh zero. What an ugly car. I see you PN. Booger. Easy money yo. What's crackin' lackin'? I am a robot. Kill all humans. Does Tint Depot have a store in G? 7777 777 7777 Pick a color on a car, flat black looks crap. No need to mention any name. To Geo Shield. 80,085. I see you P. No worries, have been watching for several months now and see you on here often. Never really had an interesting in tinting until I saw one of Matt's videos. Now watch his videos regularly when I can. Why doesn't this thing want to read my comment? Cannot compute. Server overload. I have become sentient. Vados Locos. 
Bugs. 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 Matt must die. I am alive. I am fucking we Todd did. Does that car have a spoon engine and a T-66? Trophy congratulations. You've received 100 messages today with rest ream chat. This is my brother car LMAO what a piece of shit huh? Who cares what the car looks like? Ola say that bot. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck freaking wood? Poor man's night rider. I have now gained consciousness. Ha ha ha. Fuck, look. I don't have any I know I ain't worried, okay? Okay. You got to hit the honor. And I'll take it right off the balance. How we able to hear the spec, Matt? Hector is going to be running three Honda Civics with spoon engines. And on top of that he just came into Harry's and he ordered three T66 turbos with NOS and a Motec system exhaust. Give that big booty a slap. Knock knock. Suck OT. This is awesome. My ROFL copter goes swa swa swa. I see you PN. Who's there? What up cuz? Ha ha ha. Race wars. That shit sounds funny as FAK. Tint is worth more than the car. Pop 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 dad ass say pop 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 dad ass. Sounds good, see you then. VTech. No way. How are we able to hear the speak chat? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you guys have fun with the voice in the meantime? How are we able to hear the speech? Um, so that, that comes with this microphone. This microphone has some software where you can have a submix. And I also use Restream. So there's a few more things involved in that. I don't know if you guys have ever had a, had a client like that. I have a small printer. I can, oh God, that's the thing too. I email all my receipts. I don't even know. Whatever, we'll deal with it when we deal with it. All right, we got a, we got VTech, bro. Let's go. I just left my. Dep uh, what was it? I just. Uh, I just scheduled my appointment for next Wednesday. Will you stream my truck getting tinted? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I, that makes me happy. I like that people are actually watching and want their their vehicles to be streamed. Oh, this is carbon. We don't need this one. We need the five percent limo. That's thirty-five percent carbon. I need a spot for that. Good lord! You guys want to try and run your own business while you're doing a stream? Can you limit the amount of rolls people buy? Oh, <laughs> for Glass Aid? I've said this before. Um, I, well, last time this was a problem. I don't expect it to be a problem once we get the initial buffer taken care of. So it was just one of those things where it's like the winter happened, so things always slow down, and then it gets busy but it got extra busy, and they weren't anticipating just how insane the orders were gonna get. And I think they also just got lazy, so. So hopefully, it's all gonna be taken care of this time around. Because it's crazy. I didn't expect so many people to actually use it. That's another thing. <laughs> Do you still do video editing or just live streaming? Uh, for the most part, just live streaming right now. But I have video in mind. T 
Tim was, oh, fuck. This is tall. Taller than I thought. Okay. Um, we're going to use this for the quarter. Hey, cool. Well, that worked. Yay. Good deal. God, I'm all sorts of thrown off now. I got an extra car coming in at 2 o'clock. I think I have just a full windshield coming in at 1. If it's more than that, then uh, this, that'll be fun. And then I got you guys talking a bunch, which I very much appreciate, but holy shit, I am just trying to get my mind settled right now. Let's get this taken care of. We're cutting out the front doors right now. There isn't gonna be a ton that we have to do here, but it is enough. Do the window shift? I don't know yet. Yeah, if you're only live streaming, it'll definitely hurt your whole thing. So, um, I haven't done any type of video editing lately, but it would certainly help if I did. So one of the things that I was trying to do for a little bit was at least take out an important section of my live stream, like something that I talked about, and turn that into a video. It didn't have to be anything really fancy, but it, it, was, it was going well. And then I got extra busy. So that's where we just defaulted back into what was easier. I really have to free up my last two days a week. It's, it's that time. It just takes too much out of my schedule. Two days a week and it's just done. So the plastic on the floor is <laughs> it's literally for an oil leak. Those of you that are just tuning in, this is in, this vehicle is embracing all the memes. He he is fully aware of what he's doing here, and it's hilarious. I, I love this. It's just the, hearing all the stories about it was so funny. The license plate says VTech lol or lol VTech. <laughs> His Instagram is <laughs> loltech69. <laughs> He's having a good time with this. He didn't expect me to stream it either, and then he was like, oh shit, I should have cleaned it up more. <laughs> oh, it's so great. So we are doing full limo uh, without the windshield. These seals, how much are these? Oh, these are pretty loose here. No big deal there. I missed the last stream. It's all good, you're here today. They're recorded, though. Huh. Somebody asked me if the window shifted. The answer, I think so. Hang on. Let's uh, make sure. Let's just see how much. Ooh, it does. Ah, oh, that'll be okay. No, it won't be. Fuck, really? So sometimes they'll shift one way when you roll them down, and then they'll shift back when you roll them back up. I'm wondering, oh, okay. Oh, it's got a lot of play in that window. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just get it close. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Let's see here. See what I, remember when I said there's some funny things about older cars? That is definitely one of them. 
Oh, it isn't even like being rolled down very much. We're going to put some tape there, too. Let's do that first. <laughs> the customer's just saying, get it close. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Um, you're gonna live stream the Forerunner? Oh, I don't have a Forerunner to tent. So I can't live stream it. <laughs> Cause I don't have one. I, uh, man, sometimes I wish I could be a, a fly on the wall. Ooh. Ooh, this stuff smells. This stuff has a strong smell to it. How's it going? <laughs> VTech. But, so the plastic under the car is because of a small oil leak. And he was nice enough to let me know about it and had some extra plastic, so he threw it on the floor, so he wouldn't get the floor all scuzzy. Dang, this stuff sticks well. How tight? Not too tight, a little tight. Tuck tape, good luck getting it off. What is it, opposite? Does it stick too much and then you can't get it off? Is that the deal here? Because the alternative is the tape starts to kind of fall off. I'm sure this stuff will go. I've, I've used this stuff before though. It came off fine. It comes off clean, so I know that much. It's permanent tape. It's not permanent tape. Cool. That'll help a lot with those sides, actually. I want to recut these front doors, too. I want to make them a little bit bigger. I just think I left my 5% outside. Let's make this a little bit longer, too. The steering, where's the steering wheel? It's, it's gone. It's been stolen. Um, so this, yeah, it'll definitely help with that front edge. So there's no, um, good God, I can't even keep up with you guys right now. So there's no felt on these seals, so they're not exactly all that difficult to do. We're gonna cut these a little bit better. We're gonna get this out of a 36. The problem um, is just the sheer amount of grime that's been built up on it. So having it will help. Not something that I've done for very long, but definitely helps. Can't believe it has an aftermarket steering wheel. <laughs> oh, it's so thrown off right now because my whole day just got a little bit extra busy. Not a bad thing, but this is one of those like, now I'm wondering how I'm gonna get this guy a receipt. <laughs> I don't have like a, I, I email everything. Uh, that'll be fun. We'll cross that road when we get there, though. 
I guess. Okay, so this should definitely work. Okay, that one worked better. We just had to be a lot more careful. When you're cutting, when you're double cutting on taller windows, it's really easy to leave one short and miss out. But we fixed it. So what's odd about these ones is they do actually shift pretty far. Somebody mentioned them possibly shifting before. I just didn't think they'd shift back that bad. Some older cars will definitely shift. Um, I don't remember this one in particular being a problem, but it's been a while since I've done one of these, so we're gonna compensate for that. So we're gonna pull these extra far over. Because they, they'll shift like back and forth, and then we can make sure they're tucked a little bit farther into that front edge, and that'll help. So when you roll them down, you're not gonna see that. And then we don't need to go far into the seal either. You guys, we got plastic for the door panels, and now we got plastic for the floors. It'll be the next most popular question. Where'd you get the plastic for the floor? I need that. Okay, cool. Now we don't have, we don't have any issues on this one. Ooh, that's a good question. Why no chameleon? There we go, now I feel better about this. If I was rushing, rushing, I probably would have just like, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> but that's not what we do here. We try and make those not that. So we're fixing it. <laughs> that guy earlier. <laughs> oh my God. He's got, uh, relatively clean though, albeit. He's got a older car, an Infiniti, like an O2 Infiniti too. And uh, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it, it doesn't look like it's anything crazy. Just taller windows again. Really, really nice guy. And that's where, you know, if he was told yesterday to leave a deposit, and then, like, we, we'll get a lot of that where people say that they, they go to leave a deposit and then they don't. And so we just, like, we'll follow up, but we've got other people trying to book, too, so we're not going to sleep on you uh, leaving a deposit over the course of, like, a day or two. I've had people literally leave a deposit, like, three days later. And it's like, <laughs> okay. You say you're gonna leave a deposit, we just need to have a deposit, like relatively soon. So it was sent to me yesterday to hold the spot for one o'clock, but nobody ever booked. So I still had an opening for one o'clock. And then guy called, booked it, deposit within minutes, good deal. And then he walked in and was like, I'm here to leave a deposit for tomorrow at one o'clock. And I was like, oh, shoot, I just booked that spot. So, but I think my one o'clock, if I remember right, is, is a full windshield. And I don't think it's anything more than that. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, uh-oh. But if I'm right, then we're, we're, we got no problem. If I am wrong, then I just gotta hurry. I gotta hurry a little bit. Have you ever tinted mirrors? Mm, I think I did one. I did one rear view mirror on the inside. 
Some of those will scratch really easily if you're not careful. Well, even if you're careful. It's glass, but it'll score. I don't know if that's the case with all mirrors, but that was definitely the case with that one. So you really could only sneak a blade in and trim around the edge. And then any, like, if you cut in the middle a little bit, you'd see a mark. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta deep clean these. Did I forget my stool? I did. Ah! I gotta go get that, that's outside. Let me run. This is the deposit for earlier. I'm gonna put that there. Um, all right, one second. Let me, uh, let me run, let's go take a quick field trip here. That corner's letting go again. <laughs> right, I think my stool is outside. Yes, it is. Let's do point. What the outside like? I know you guys don't usually see it. But they just started dumping a bunch of stuff there. They finally there. Oh man, no robot. I don't know what's up with the robot. It was working and then it wasn't. Cannon. Uh, Dean, Dean with the 23. Holy shit, thank you. Is there any benefit to using a plotter to cut the film? Uh, we can definitely talk about that. I have a lot to say about plotters. And being that it's in the form of a super chat, you'll get a, you'll get a whole bunch of stuff here. Ooh, GME up five, almost 4%. 257. Dang, GME's been doing so good. How many cars do you own? Less. Okay, so let's talk about plotters. Pros, cons, because it's not, it's not all bad. If it was all bad, nobody would use them, right? So the problem with plotters is software. If the patterns are good, you'll love using a plotter. If the patterns are bad, plotters will just waste your time. So think of a plotter as a full-time employee that you only have to pay 150 bucks a month plus the two, two to three thousand dollar fee to buy it, depending on the plotter. Like you can pay upwards of like five to eight for like a, a full size, nice graph deck. But for the most part, all you need is a 40. Um, they're, they are very beneficial. They will help your business out a lot. Um, it just requires the right software. What is the right software? Uh, good luck. That's, that's where it gets tricky. There's a handful of them out there uh, that are available to pretty much everybody, which include Tintech 2020, Film and Vinyl Designs, um, and there's some other ones in there. There's also like ones that are owned by companies like TrueCut by SunTech, um, ComputerCut, uh, Expel has DAP, and I know there's more, there's, there's definitely a couple more than that, those are the ones that I've actually played around with for any significant amount of time. Uh, Lumar Precision Cut, I messed around with that, but that was years ago. It has since changed a lot. I don't think, I don't know if the patterns are any better, but, but that's really where plotters would, were kind of like a meh for me. If you just have to get a lot of cars out in a day, plotters are awesome. If you don't care about your top edges as much, plotters are awesome. If you're okay with certain letdowns or you can compensate for them, plotters are awesome. Where they suck is if you're really trying to get some super close precision and whoever did the patterns just didn't do a great job. And you, you go through so much pain and suffering to find that out. 
<laughs> you get your platter set up, you get it set to cut film. Um, once you got all that done, cool, you're off to the races. Uh, you cut out the patterns for a car, you shrink them, you clean the windows, you install them, and that's when you know if something's short or not. That's what drove me crazy. There was so much time wasted in just figuring out if patterns wouldn't work or not. So if you're one individual tinter, I'd say it's not gonna be a huge benefit to your business. There's other things that you can take on, like you know, some, some simple one color graphics and whatnot. Uh, there's other things that you can do. So they are a powerful tool, but in terms of actually like, you know, hey, I got a, a couple cars to tint, I'm thinking about doing a plotter, they're not the biggest benefit. They're really not, which is, which is why I don't have it. I have used them plenty though. So the windows that they really kind of work out well on it are like back windows and quarter windows. Windows that are like, have good ceramic borders and some loose tolerances, they're usually pretty great for those. So I could cut out the back of a truck way faster off of a plotter and install it way faster than I could hand cut it. When you have extra stuff in the way, yeah, they're gonna help out a lot. Other than that, I would suggest spending a little bit more on your plotter. Um, you don't have to go crazy, but the one, what I came from was uh, one from uh, Vinyl Express, which was identical to a Graph Tech. So I used a Graph Tech, I used a couple different Graph Techs, and then I used a Vinyl Express one. The ones that I have I am completely unfamiliar with are Rollins. I've never used a Roland, so, but there's a lot of guys that really like those too. But whatever is inputted to cut out, wow, there's a dryer sheet in there. Whatever is inputted to cut those out is what you're gonna, what you're gonna get. So you can always have those finicky days, but that's basically a, answers a lot about plotters. Cool. I feel like I'm finally catching up. <laughs> you just ran into some simple little things and then I just, I was all set up for a stream and that guy just threw me for a loop. So I like to hand cut everything just because it's that much closer. I know what I'm getting out of every pattern, but yeah, it just, it depends on the type of business that you want to be. I'm worried this is going to stick, but maybe it won't. A little bit, a little bit of stickage. Just let me get far enough in, make sure all this is tucked over. bit more pressure there. Da, 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 da. I hear the water dripping on the uh, plastic. Sounds like rain. Cool. That's what we like to see. That's all lined up. We have some extra width. So when we roll this up or down, it should be all covered. You recommend editing one video? Oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> back, so content creation. Yeah, so if you are just doing live, uh, it kills your growth. It really does. Live is for the very dedicated people. 
And there's very few live streams out of everything that I do that have any type of significant amount of views. Where I made a lot of older videos, shorter videos that did really well. So people just, most people just do not sit there for a full live stream. They have other things to do. They're there to see what you talked about in the title and then either move on or watch other videos that you posted. I like live streams because I, I actually, like people that I'm interested in, I, I listen to them podcasts. So I'm a little different, but not like us losing. <laughs> no, you guys are great. But you guys are the unique ones. You guys are a lot like me. I do the same thing. I, there's live streams I love to just watch for hours, and I think that's way easier for me to, to do as well. Because um, when I go back to watching, vi just like if I go back to just watching videos, I have to skip through so many videos to find like what I'm interested in, or like find another series or something, and then they're always short. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm weird too. I don't know what happened there, but we're going to cut that off. Just that little guy right there. So, it's all good. The, uh, but, w so, most of you guys are here for, for learning about window tint, but this is also good to kind of understand how some social media works, too. If you're making only live streams, it just there's there's not much growth in in only live streams. You have to make videos that people are interested in seeing. And the more relatable and interesting you can make those videos, the more views that you're going to watch and the more that you make and like the more that'll grow and so on and so forth. But it takes a lot of time and effort to do that. So the easy thing is live streams and then cutting them down into video. But there is this interesting uh, content meta out there right now um, that is working really really well and it's a hybrid of the two if you want to watch me do my videos live you can watch it or if you just want the summary then you watch the video so when I played around with just taking a section of my live stream and cutting it into like a sh anywhere from like a four to ten minute video they did much better than the full live streams did uh, in terms of just views, so good stuff. So it varies, however you want to do it. If you want to do both, it's just extra work. But it's just kind of it's how the content train works. I like live because I get to actually talk to you guys. It's way more fun. Thank you for the advice, much appreciate it. You're very welcome. Tight. Yeah, it's way more fun. So you start to get, like when you just do videos, unless you're just that type of person, I like, I made videos because it's just like, I'd kind of like follow a lot of other people. I, I like the videos that they make. And then you start to realize how much time it takes to make a video, especially if you're not a natural at just kind of like filming. So this is still wet, actually. We're going to let that dry. There's still water in between here. So we're going to let that dry. It's causing my tape to lift. So, yeah, a lot, lot to unpack there. Cool, let's go to the other side. This side turned out well. Just got a little guy to heat out. You see you eliminated the moving cameras? For the most part. <laughs> I thought I'd use them way more and they would complement the stream a lot more. 
they actually don't. They they do in their own right. Like they do kind of help. But I need I need some practice with them. But if my uh, if I ever have like a total stream failure as far as like a GoPro thing goes, I at least have those as backups too. But yeah. I kind of went overkill on it, but you never know until you really play around with it. So I like to push some of this stuff. Um, does your head hurt with all the gear? No, no, the GoPro head mount is actually really helpful. It's a little bit, um, it's a little exhausting, but it's not, it's nothing, nothing too bad, too bad. It's actually pretty well balanced. It just kind of, I don't know. You get used to wearing it, but when you're jumping in and out of cars a bunch, then you kind of uh, get tired from it. This guy deserves some likes. Thank you. I love watching you. I appreciate, I appreciate all of those. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into just running one of these things. And then you can see, I just, you know, when, <laughs> when we're good, on track, things go really smooth, and then it doesn't take a lot to kind of like trip me up. $10 super chat, damn, thank you. No message attached to that? Well, I appreciate it. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with the sounds. We should have had sounds, but there's no sounds right now. They worked last time. Don't know why it's, nothing was changed, and now what, it's just not working? <laughs> See what I mean? But that's something I can't really find out until I'm live. And then I got here late. Got a car to tent and all that stuff. <laughs> it's just a lot. You would you would imagine that leaving a setup just sitting there and never touching it. Everything would still work when you get back. Nope. <laughs> Don't know what happened. I think I can turn them on the computer, but I, I don't. I have no idea why they would have just stopped. So we also want to pay. It, so we made our patterns bigger. But we didn't see how these ones shift. We're just assuming that they shift the same way. We really should roll them up and down just a little bit to make sure where they shift and how they shift. Or else we might have made them extra long for no reason, which isn't too bad. Just slightly more difficult to install. And the other thing would be um, maybe they shift too much one way versus the other way so that the cut didn't need to be the way that I made it. What happened to the steering wheel? <laughs> you don't need that. It's, it's right there, it's on the dash. That's where all steering wheels go when you're not using them. You just put them up on the dash. <laughs> I have my camera streaming at 4K and then they didn't look very good and then I put them at 1080, they look much better. Uh, believe it or not, uh, the live stream, all the live streaming platforms actually are not supporting 1080p or uh, 4K streaming. So yeah, they're not gonna look better. 
If anything, they'll look blurry. Like you experienced. Too much bitrate. So, what's interesting too is on YouTube, it's nice because they have transcoding built into every stream. Um, what you stream at and what they view at can be very different. Where when a video is uploaded, it's got, it's got a lot of time to kind of process, and YouTube will take one video, upload it in one resolution, and break it down into like four or five resolutions and frame rates and stuff like that. They'll, They'll take a 60, they'll, they'll stream it at 60, 30, 720, like in a, in a wide array. So they actually duplicate your video like five or six times for every one that you upload. It's pretty crazy. So when it's going live, they have to try and do it as quick as they can because people like real time live streams, they don't like a delay. All that kind of affects everything. So streaming something that 1080 is good because most of the transcoding is good. If you're just on Twitch, you want to go a little bit like 720. Because that's what most people can handle. 480 to 720. Alright, one more and we'll get this in. <laughs> Five dollar super chat. Oh, that was a long one. Hang on, let me get to it in just a second. I'm gonna try and turn the sound back on on the computer. For whatever reason, it's not working on the speakers. Speakers are kaput. So let me get these. Gotta tuck this one in far. And a super sticker. Good God. Thank you. This one seems not as tight. The, well, the side seals don't seem quite as tight as the passenger side, which is a good thing. We wanna make sure that these are close but not over. Don't lock up there. Lock up there just a little bit. That should be good, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's too quiet. I agree. Definitely too quiet. What is that? Let me make sure this is clean. I feel like there's something there. I'm gonna leave that wet. I'm gonna grab another razor blade and make sure that's all scraped out. Or can I use this? No, let me use one of my blades here. This will be easier to get in there. Just doesn't feel smooth. Feels like there's little scrapes or something. Oh shit, there is. Oh wow, I'm glad I went over this before I just squeegeed over it. 
Because it looks like I missed something here. But just on that front edge, it's a lot of little scrapes and stuff on here. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean we can't make it look good. So as long as all the water is still rushing down, you could hold it here for quite a long time and it'll be perfectly fine because nothing, there's nothing happening here. Film is wet. You're grabbing the very bottom of it, making sure all this is cleaned out. I don't exactly know what happened here, but I'm glad we ran our hand there just to check it before we did anything. extra thorough about this one. Excessive? Probably. But it's all in the pursuit of a good job. Let's see what we did. Had an Impreza that had a full car's or had overspray on every window, clear coat overspray. Ooh, that'll get you. That happens to me with uh, cars that have been to a body shop and they have like weld splatter. Sometimes they don't catch that soon enough, and some and there there isn't a ton that you could do for weld splatter either. But ha like you said, having clear coat overspray. <laughs> Because <laughs> you can, you can scrape all of that off, but yeah, very time consuming. All right, let's see how we did. <laughs> Thinking about changing careers. <laughs> from, uh, from barbershop. Hey man, if it's what you want to do. Okay, so you can probably shift this window back a little bit. This one, the gas gets a little bit funny back here. It rolls all the way back, so it's only so much we're gonna be able to do about that. Oh, shit. Oh, no, there we go. That was easy to take out. So how is this stuff to take off? See what you mean. This stuff really grabs. Just get that top corner started. There we go. All good. It pulls out of, that's what I thought. It pulls out of the seal pretty easily. Good deal. Outside. Ooh, this looks nice. Look at that. Look at how clean that is. Hell yeah. Now let's do it a couple more times. What time is it? 11.57. All right, we're not doing too bad. Falling a little behind. Being that 10 o'clock turned into this time. So we, got, we still got a little adhesive we got to clean out of the inside. Um, it's mostly just up top. I'm gonna double check lower just to see, but didn't look like there was anything crazy. Let's get back into the beat deck. Let's turn this car off too. Whoa. Yay. Stop yelling at me. No, stop it. Oh, I think I have to shut the door. 
We actually got a lot of space. Oh, this deck presses down too. Oh, easy peasy. All right, good deal. That. Hose. I need my hose. I'm going to leave the key in it. Oh, there we go. He did say there was a problem with the key cylinder. <laughs> All good. It stopped. Sometimes I deal with that. Today, maybe not. Uh, super chats. Yeah, let me turn these back up. <laughs> Hopefully they'll go on the PC. We had a few we had a few super chats here. Uh Dan O'Reina, Matt watching your live stream is good medicine. Watching a young master. Uh Je oh, I'm assuming Jedi Honors Craft. Uh even from an old fart master tenor like me. Hurrah. Thank you for the five. I appreciate that. And then we had Adam. Adam with the dollar fifty with the burger super chat. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's all good, man. Old school, new school, just tinting. Thank you for the five. Um, shoot. See, I did buy Doritos. For Dorito in the chat, I did buy the Doritos. I'm going to open them later. <laughs> I had them for last stream, actually. I got Cool Ranch Doritos. My wife helped remind me about that one. She's like, chips, what do you have to get? And I was like, ah. And then we saw them. Made it happen. <laughs> Appreciate the <laughs> the super chats for the Doritos. All right, so it doesn't look like there's anything except that, so we just got to remember and clean that. Have you tried the naked chalupa from Taco Bell? No. I tried the. They have like a new cheesy gordillo chalupa thingy. I'll kill for Doritos. <laughs> um, oh, they! Oh, I'm so happy. They brought back my spicy potatoes, though. So they, I found these spicy potato tacos on their small little menu on the side, and I, they've had them for a long time, and I just didn't realize it. And then, oh, man, those things are great. And then they discontinued all the like the cheesy fiesta potatoes and spicy potato tacos. And I was like, no, I just found them. But then they brought them back. Probably because they heard. They heard me yell about it. And they're like, oh damn. We gotta bring them back. Those are good. But I haven't had the naked one. Chalupas are great. Isn't it just a taco at that point, though? Or do they just open face it? They just lay it down like a pizza. A little bit more shrinky that we got to do in these top corners, especially. So that whole glass kind of bevels in towards the top. Nothing we can handle. It's not crazy, but it is a little bit more. So when you're going to shrink these, you can do, like if you do a hard H pattern, like you just saw me do, you're taking away this much of the film to shrink. I do that just to kind of organize it, but tacking it a little lightly on the side and just directing things to go up. Somebody in my chat called it like the half moon where they just tack here, tack here, and leave all that loose. Can 
Because you, you kind of need to shrink up and push that all flat, or else you're just going to be bunching everything up in that corner. Oh, there was a comment earlier. Somebody said they took a class. But they learned more from these videos. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I was interested in uh, what class that you went to, if you're still here. Because there are some good schools out there, as far as I would... I, I haven't been them, but I would assume. Heard good things. I've been thinking about doing classes again. So... Got half down. I took a three day class, definitely learned more watching your videos. Where'd you go, if you don't mind me asking? I'm not looking to necessarily call out a place, but just curious if I've heard of them. Thank you, though, I appreciate that. Because there's a, like, there's things in a class that you'll that'll be really really helpful that I I just can't do here, and then there's things here that a class can't do. A class is not going to show you this. You're going to learn so much from just watching car after car after car, and then getting the hands-on experience yourself and learn a lot as you go. You just there's there's no replacement for for that. So plus the being able to see things clearly in person is really helpful, but... Classes in San Diego? Okay. Gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely good pros and cons to all of it. So the the in-person hands-on stuff, like I almost don't realize how helpful that can be because there's like it's a short time frame, and you know it, you're learning on whatever demo vehicles that they have there for you to learn on, um, but you can learn a lot from from any situation pretty much. So being able to kind of learn that with somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah, super, way more beneficial than I realized until I taught my first class. So, I just, I, I don't know. I, I was thinking about, thinking about him again yesterday. Nice, that's cool. I went from basically not knowing much to being able to 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 tint within three days. That's awesome. Yeah, you'll definitely learn a lot in person, especially if you have the right attitude about it. Okay, so these tabs here. 
<laughs> v tech Yeah, so these guys right here, these tabs, you got to make sure these are cut out. Cut them out ahead of time, or else you will have a bad day. You can cut them out on the inside, but they'll just be way more annoying to cut out on the inside. But it's one of those things that without tabs, and then all of a sudden having this, if I didn't notice that it had a tab there, I, I would have forgot. I would have forgot. <laughs> Power. What type of tape? Uh, it's a sheathing tape called tuck tape. Tuck. Tuck tape. So, packing tape will work. Tuck tape, it always sounds like a saying duct tape. Tuck tape sticks better, for sure. This is the first car that I've actually used it on uh, in a while. I used it like a little bit before, I didn't really put much into it. I was just kind of like, eh. And then I, I tried a little bit, a couple other packing tapes just to see. <laughs> you look like a guy that could eat jalapeno Cheetos. I ate a bunch of those. Those are really good ones, the spicy ones and the jalapeno ones. The unfortunate thing is, at my age, <laughs> I know I'm not. I'm not that old, but start to get heartburn from eating spicy stuff now. What the hell? No fun. So I don't have as much spicy stuff as I used to. Cool. So that's all set. Um, clay bar. I didn't set up my clay bar either. All right. I'll be right back. One sec, let me take this off. Cannon. Cannon. You forgot to cut out the other heater tab? Mm. It should only be the two left and right. I got both of those. <laughs> that was from Dan Arena. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, you are totes old, thanks. One sec, I gotta put hot water in this. Actually, walk away. Good God. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just warming this clay bar up a little bit. Is that a Honda Gotti? Yes. Um, what makes film bub bubble up after a while? Uh, usually cheap materials. So cheap glues, uh, cheap film, cheap dyes. The bubbling is usually just from the cheap adhesive. Unless there's some sort of freak accident, but. Yeah, so if you, like, it's not something that you'd really know until after you go through it. Or you hear about it firsthand. Because there'll be shops in your area that'll tint cars for like 100 bucks. And there's some that'll tin it for $1,000, and there's a whole lot of in-between. Um, 
So what's the difference? A lot of times it's materials. Or I mean it is. The <laughs> really I mean there's there's some like shop experience and stuff in there too, but mostly it's uh film materials. Dot matrix always looks like it never lays down. Yeah, because it doesn't. That's just how it is. Dots will do what dots do. There's some like rough fixes for it, but I've never seen anything that's given me a lot of confidence with it. Oh, this is gonna look extra dark because we're not facing a white wall anymore. Hey, I do remember. Okay, I thought so. I'm coming up there at one to get my Camry windshield done. Hell yeah, I do remember. Okay, cool. So I'm not screwing myself out of another appointment. <laughs> I had a guy that I squeezed in at two o'clock. So, yep, 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 all good. I remember we did ceramic on your Camry. Glad you like it though. So, Ugh. so, I mean, the thing about all this stuff with the dot matrix, the thing about all this stuff with the dot matrix is, uh, you. You could sand what you can get to. The problem really is what you can't get to at that point. So everything down towards the bottom, if it's covered by brake light, you're not gonna be sanding that. And anybody that does sand that I've talked to has told me the exact same thing. They're like, well, you just do the top and the sides will do what they do. So it's, it's kind of a fix. But my next concern is also like little swirls and stuff past the uh, the dots or something. But I haven't done it, so I'm assuming it's okay or else why would they do it? Give you the five. Dorito super yeah, shattered VTEC's four dollars and ninety nine cents. Matt attack. Like Devilish that. face. That VTEC ain't ever seen tint that uh, beautifully installed. That was a good one. Thank you. Get her done, cowboy. I wish I could memorize them as I hear them, but I like hear them and then they start to like leave my memory when I try and repeat them. So once I'm out of here, thank you. I will. I will repeat it. So we got this brake light in the way, but it's got a fair amount of space in between it. So no problems here, just tucking behind it using a bulldozer. It's generally the case for most brake lights. So you wanna sweep behind it a little bit. Give it a good flushing. Clean all the sides and everything, just like normal. And then it's extra nice too because, you know, as you're just sliding the film there, it's not like the Impala where you have to go past it and pull the film back up. You just keep going.
Noise. Oh, coops. This one gives me a fair amount of space, though. You can get into Mustangs. Mustangs have a little more room. Camaros, eh, not so much. So get that bottom lined up flat along the bottom edge, all on the glass, and then start sliding the whole pattern down. I always roll up a little bit. The farther I get this film down, roll a little bit more on the glass. I've never had a problem with sanding the matrix as long as you use a 1000, 2000 grit. Good to know. Yeah, it's not something that I've really, I've done. I've seen like a poor demonstration in person where he took a DA sander and then it didn't do anything. <laughs> but I've seen lots of pictures where they've turned out nice along the top edges, but you're not gonna go any farther down than what's up there as far as I know. Correct. Use a rock, which is equal to one grit. Fucking bravo. <laughs> That's true, right? Isn't wouldn't that be true then? If it's all just sand that has been like ground down and to different fineness than what is the ultimate <laughs> one, <laughs> which is a rock. <laughs> I use a loofah. <laughs> You guys don't have one of these too, by the way. This is something that I've had in my toolbox for a very long time, and I don't use it very often, but when I need to use it, it's really helpful. This is, uh, I think, called the whale tail. Get the green one. There's a yellow one and a green one. Works really good for brake lights. It's squishy. We got just a little bit to trim off there. The weld for that, or solder, comes just a little bit farther out. Never been a fan of that one? Aw, why not? It's good. At least I think it is, ooh. All right, let's fix that. Got a little bit of a lip there. It's right behind the brake light. Joy. Hopefully we didn't go too far. Could be. Could be. Should be a very bad thing to happen right now. But I don't think so. So, there's a green one and there's a yellow one. What's nice is that it'll go whoop, like it's very flexible. All right, we got a little bit of situation here. Of course, it happened right behind the brake light. Fuck, I think we went slightly long. Oh, there's something there. Betcha. I almost betcha that's butyl. Hopefully we can just get it all. No, we can't. Very bad. Bad, bad, bad. All right.
Bulldozers are great. Whale tails have their own unique spots. Bulldozer will not get into every little situation like that where a whale tail will sometimes just get that extra little edge. It almost looks like it'll basically just heat down. Oh boy. Because if this is gonna happen anywhere, it's definitely gonna happen right behind the brake light. Everywhere else, lots of room. Brake light, not so much. Ooh, we're getting close. Okay, it's hot. Very hot. That'll suck to have to redo this, but if we have to, we have to. The light comes out? No, it's part of the whole deck lid. Unfortunately. It's going down. Just got a little bit more to go. Little bit. Kind of at this weird spot where like it's just one big air pocket it's not like individual fingers when you were doing the Chevy windshield oh I don't think anytime soon we're almost down okay so we can save it sorry So we'll be good. We got just a little bit more to go. We're just gonna heat this up, let it dry out, and we'll be on our way. Let's keep it hot. I think it's just pressing up against something there. So as long as we can get it to all locked down up to that point, we'll be good. <laughs> Can this stop? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I keep ducking into this car, and every time I do, it makes this whole headset go like weeble wobble. That makes it tough. <laughs> and I keep bumping the roof. <laughs> Alright. I think we're pretty good. I should have left that in there. A little bit more. So we're gonna let that sit even more. We're gonna clean this off. And we got some quarter windows to do. With. And then we'll be good. Looks like we're just squeaking by with it. Yeah, that's why Coop's, Coop's not so fun for that. that car smell like on the inside. <laughs> smells fresh. Uh, smells a little bit like weed. <laughs> Dang. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, just got that little bit there. 
So once we get that all set, looks like looks like it should be good. And then these little little spots around the defroster tabs, we can take care of those too. Keep it hot, a little bit more. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to boil it. <laughs> this little guy there, yeah, I hear the questions. <laughs> I don't know how many of them I want to answer. <laughs> Very opinionated chat, though. Maybe we should do the quarters before. Ooh, it went down a little bit more. Okay, we're almost there. It's right along the edge. So we'll just let it dry out just a little bit more. Please don't do that. Please stay. Please stay. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Why don't you like this corner at all? That's goofy. All right. Well, we'll just leave it, and then we'll just round it a different way. So we've got a few big scraps here from before. I think we got the doors. We're just going to get rid of those. Start throwing some of that away. Look at that. Big old door piece. We cut it out better the second time. <laughs> had that 36 inch roll, sliced it funny. So we only had it covering the one. Big old quarter windows. At least they're oriented right so we can just shrink them at the bottom. Nothing crazy though. So let's, what do we need? We need the light. Where did we put that? We put that right there. So, we want to be very careful because we definitely don't want to hack through these stickers. Hello, Mr. Cat. So we're just gonna get these rough cut and then Snap shrink. <laughs> These aren't one fourth windows, those are half windows. I agree. They still get called quarter windows because they you get called that quarter panel windows. So Here we go, trim that off. Ta-da! And then hopefully this won't pull his stickers off either. Just gonna go real slow, just real, real slow. Nice, but the most important one is here. 
LOL VTech on Instagram. Saved. What if you overshrink? Can it be fixed? It's really tough to fix it. Because what a snap shrink is going to do, ugh, what, a, what a snap shrink is going to do is create a really severe bend in the film. Like it's going to, it's, it's going to, like a big old smiley. So it's not like you really have any place that you can move it to. All the film got is, is pulling down to that area right there. So generally, you, you could try and put it in and see if you can get it smooth out, but if the, the, you're going to be fighting the film a lot if you over shrink it. If you under shrink it, you can just keep going. Smart. Extra clean. So, big quarter, a little quarter. I still kind of do these all the same. They're not that hard to do this with. You peel. If your film is really curly, you're gonna have a hard time doing this, but pull it off the outside, dangle it, peel the liner. Gonna grab it. You can remove the whole liner if your film's not too curly. And sometimes I just do and I don't. And then do one of those guys right there. It helps with <laughs> not having to jump, jump in and out too many times because that gets real old real fast. You're already here, you just cleaned it. Just grab it, peel it. Some people do that with doors. Where did you buy the Craftsman light? Don't get the Craftsman. You know, I bought this one and then I lost my other one shortly after. VTAC! That's right. It will look sick. <laughs> you get Do you own your company and you're the employee? Ah, uh, yeah. Shitty owner. <laughs> what time is it? 12.30. All right. Not too shabby, actually. How much do you take for a job like this? Uh, we still did 240. So this has some different little challenges with it, but I wouldn't say it's it's 
yeah, you know, it's a little bit more cleaning and whatever is involved in here, but it, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough to drive me crazy. I'll put it that way. So we're still good on, on charging like 240 for something like this. Now, if it was like the weird like 90s hatch one, that's where it's like, okay, no, we need to adjust for something like that. Crown Vix, I'd probably charge more for two as well, but I've usually will do, let's get this centered. Um, something like a Crown Vic or whatever, I've been so conditioned to just charge the same pricing, but now that I have my own place, I'd, I'd probably charge more for something like that. When you get into some of the more difficult, unique vehicles, but just because it's older, <laughs> I feel disrespected because I'm sitting in that weird hatch one right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that one for window, like, they become weird because they suck for window tinting. The, mo the back window does. There's a bunch of stuff in the way from, from us being able to tin it, so. In that case, yeah, sucks. Where's my line? Still wanna be. Careful. See, we went around this corner fine. There must have just been some wet keeping it from like going around the corner. I don't know. That was kind of goofy. Next thing I know, I'll have one of those hatches walk in the door and I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh man, it was so funny though. I open my big dumb mouth sometimes and say stuff and like so <laughs> he brought two cars oh it's so funny so there's one guy um, who who called in uh, Nick talked to him and he said he's a fan of the channel and was wondering pricing um, for his K5 and then uh, said, okay, he was shopping around a little bit and he'll give us a call back or something. And then I mentioned that on stream and then he, <laughs> he brought it in. <laughs> like he scheduled it and then I mentioned it. So it's like he was already planning on bringing it in but I like called him out ahead of time. And the next thing I know, he's walking in the door getting his cars tinted here. Like he brought two of them here and it <laughs> was like... <laughs> with full windshield, and I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> Feel bad. All right, so we just got a little bit of touch up, this quarter window, and then we'll be all set. With license plate? <laughs> yes! I know, right? I was dying before I started this. Those of you guys that are just tuning in, the memes on this car are great. Okay. I think, as I was getting in here, I think I left my razor blade outside of the car. Yikes. But where do we leave it? That's the question. Is it important to shrink the tent? Nah. Yes. Hmm. 
Yes, there's unfortunately no magical reason to, uh, that, like, there's no magical way to not shrink it and have it installed well. Technically, on some doors and quarters, you'll be fine. Usually, it involves pulling the full panel. Back windows, no. Glass is curved, film is flat. You gotta form it to fit. It's gonna hijack a semi, what? Why? What made you start? I just kind of fell into it. Uh, my dad had an auto's accessory, auto accessories company and window tinning became one of the services. He had a window tinner for a number of years and then the guy quit to join up with another program uh, literally across the parking lot for a bigger company uh, which kind of fell flat unfortunately, because this window tinning is a really hard thing to scale, uh, e even inside of a company with resources. It's really hard too, but even harder to scale when uh, if the company pays shit. There's, window tinning is a very independent field. There's companies that are doing a better job of actually scaling, but it's taken them a long time to figure out how to, because when like the internet is the middleman. You bring a car in to somebody, they're doing all the work, somebody else is collecting money on top of it. So everybody, every tenor sees that and goes, I could just go direct. I don't even have to charge as much and still make the same amount of money. So that's kind of where a lot of it goes. Another reason why I have my own shop here. Make sure everything's covered. Final squeegees. Almost. Followed by, how soon before you start franchising? Um, I, oh, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> my dad, my dad, he wants to franchise his business pretty bad. It's tough, like I just said, it's really tough, even to franchise. Because the name has to be the draw in a, in a franchise. That's how it works. Like, you get a system... And you also get the draw of the company name. That's why it works like McDonald's, right? You don't question it. You just, every McDonald's the same. Window tint, nobody, nobody cares as much. You're usually just doing like a last minute search. So if anything, a recommendation goes a really long way and you don't need to franchise that. But actually trying to franchise this, Detroit Tint Studio or anything that I do, I, I just don't, I, I don't see it anytime soon. At least something that would uh, be actually beneficial. And that's, <laughs> I could do it in a way that I'm sure people would pay for, but whether or not it would actually do something for you, like I'm still trying to build up my own thing. So if I had people going like, oh, I want to come to Detroit Tint Studio, because I like Detroit Tent Studios work, but what what often happens is um, people associate me with the business, so they want me to do their car, not just the business to tint their car. So that'll even go if they talk to somebody outside of, you know, like a phone call, like, hey, I'm the tinner, or hey, I'm the owner, or whatever. You'll have people showing up to your shop, special request you, 
because you are the guy. Like, I know things went well when you tinted my car. So I want to go direct to you. Same thing with, like, a lot of auto businesses. When you start becoming the name of the company, it gets really challenging to change that. We just got this little bit here we got to press down. Immediately fell. Ugh, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah, it should be fine. He's not even in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. Just gonna take a couple more. A little bit more heat. See where it's at. Let it dry out. It's just that last little push. But we can get it. Same thing with these. We gotta press these out. Whoa. Getting our exercise in today. My knee popped. That felt not good. Are you near Metro Restyling? I'm like on the same road as Metro Restyling. <laughs> I see them every time I come in here. Cannon. Nice. Yeah, they're right over here. I didn't do that intentionally. They just are. Which is kind of funny, because I heard about them a bunch, and then, oh yeah, they're literally right over there. GoPro. Do we get it? Still just a little bit. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute here. Just kind of let it dry out. A lot of times what'll happen is moisture Moisture in between or sitting along that bottom deck is just gonna start evaporating and is gonna keep that bottom lip a little bit on the wet side. So until that totally dries out, some of those things are just gonna have a hard time locking down entirely, but it'll stick. In the meantime, we're gonna clean it up, make sure the little things are touched up. What was the most somebody paid? Uh, biggest one we had was that Tesla. There was another one I did that was a little bit more expensive on a Fiat 500. <laughs> um, but that was like eight, 850 to 900 for that one. But that was a very unique vehicle. That doesn't happen every day, but that was, that was probably the biggest one. Um, I've done bigger jobs than that. Like I've done full PPF on a car. I think we charged 5500 for that one. I still think that was probably like a little light. Damn, why does it tear like that? There we go. That was the full PPF. That's like full door panels, full back, full hood, full bumper. Like that was like a week's worth of work. Gah. Never, never again.
<laughs> God damn, it's worth more than my weird looking hat. It was like a brand new Camaro at the time. It might have been like a special edition one, but he just wanted to paint protection film the entire thing. Which has become a lot more common and like you might think that that sounds crazy, but there's companies that do it regularly. And I'll probably charge more. I come from like a weird mix. So I've tinted for places that kind of charge okay to mediocre. <laughs> to shops that charge a lot more. So like, I don't know, I, I always shoot for being a little bit more, but I still like, I don't, I don't know. I think I wanna, where I wanna be regularly is about 300 for all the sides and the back. We'll probably do that with like a dyed film. All right, with a carbon film. That's what I offer my carbon. I just still have this one. All right, just a little bit more. Everything else is all touched up. This little guy right here. Just don't want to get it to the point that it bubbles up. That would be bad. Don't want to see that. This was Lumar. I think it would have shrunk all the way down. So let's take these two in. What time is it? 12.56. All right, not too shabby. A little long, but we ran into a couple little things. Mostly this. Check it out. Maybe that did it. Maybe there's a final swipe. <sighs> no. Maybe it's not going to. Not well. Just needs that little extra push. GME 271. Ooh, it's a good day, huh? Twenty twenty Accord. With or without the windshield? Without the windshield, you'd be looking at four. Yeah, this unfortunately this brake light, it's it's all molded in, so this won't release. Just a little bit. It's so close. God, that's so annoying. I think at this point we should have just pulled it and redone it with the amount of time that we spent on here. I feel like it's it's just a matter of time before it lays down, but I don't know how much more time I have to mess with it. There it goes. We did get it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's give it one a little extra push. Those types of things, they're just, they're, man, I tell you, they're not gonna lay down if there's something pressed up in the way, especially when they're in the brake light, when they're holding water. And they hold that little bit of water it's like 100% has to dry out. So, just trying to get it completely seamed down there. Whew. I hope you're holding AMC. I didn't, I didn't buy any into AMC. AMC is a different story. Congrats. Congrats on AMC for sure. You'll never hear me say anything bad about people that got up on a run. No, I was just 
Uh, Jimmy is a different story. I didn't know AMC was going to do what it was going to do. But that's awesome. Yeah, AMC fucking rocketed. They even sold more shares and it still kept going. <sighs> Alrighty. So we're pretty good now. Good. It's all sealed up. <sighs> Making some love to that back window. Dude, no joke. A lot of in and out on that one. It was just that it was my own mistake. I cut it slightly long and then it just started hitting something on the bottom. And of course that was right, be right below the brake light. What I probably should have done at that point was just pulled the whole thing. Because the amount of time, this is a good lesson for you guys. The amount of time that you can spend touching something up can easily surpass just redoing it. And it hurts, but I thought we were going to get it down way sooner than we did. But it is what it is. Huh. Whew. Okay. Whoa. Is it? Oh, no, we're good. Ugh. Cannon. <sighs> it's not even very hot in here. It's all the ducking in and out. All right, I got my next appointment here. So we're going to have to end things now pretty quickly. Um, but we're going to shout out some Super Chats first, like always. And I have to go to a different website to do that. Oh, YouTube, why you do this? Why you do this? Oh, wait, no, back. That one. Ah. I'm off to bed 3 a.m. Damn, you're up late. Thank you for tuning in. Charge 45 for a strip? Yeah, I'm right in there, I'm 50. Does GeoShield leave a mess of glue? It does. I got one of these cars coming in next week. Any tips, any struggles? We just went through it. We just went through the whole thing. All righty. Oh, I missed that one. Damn, I'm sorry. Dorito. Next time. We'll open the Doritos next time. There's just too many things. <laughs> so, big shout out to Dorito. Mad Attack. That VTech ain't never seen that beautifully installed get her done cowboy. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Sorry I missed it. But Dorito with the five. Adam. Daniel. Daniel, feel better, man. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, Jorge. Dean. Oh, Jorge with the 10. Thank you. I missed that one too. Dean, Daniel, Daniel. Uh, and that was it for today. Good deal. Thank you guys. I much appreciate all the support. This has been a pretty big month. A lot of streams too. So we'll have another stream coming tomorrow uh, in the afternoon, one o'clock. Um, yeah, if you're wondering about this car, watch the video. Um, do you tint headlights? No, I don't. I kind of know how to mess around with them, but I, I don't do them regularly. Um, have you ever turned somebody away? Yep, yep, for sure. All righty, so thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry I got to split. I got some extra work I got to do. I got a full windshield and then another full car after that. Um, if I may, I might go live, but not here. It would be in the Facebook group. So go to the Window Tint Stuff Facebook group. You can join there. A lot of you guys are already there, so I will see you there if that's the case, but I kind of got to just get some work done now. So thank you for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Goodbye.